What is up you sexy YouTube mother lovers? Today we're out here testing body armor. Now, you know, soft armor like this is usually advertised to protect against pistol calibers, which is why we have a variety of pistol calibers out here today that uh, are all pointed up my junk. But there's a lot of basic handgun calibers, including a couple that this vest is not rated for, just because I'm curious to see if there is a pistol caliber out there that can defeat this kind of soft armor. So first off, we have our trusty Makarov in 380, and we have this lemon-flavored LaCroix. Let's see who wins. And worth pointing out, all the ammo that we're gonna be using today is a uh, full metal jacket. Take a knee so I don't shoot my own uh, barrel. So that's how it fared against a soda, but uh, how well does it go against body armor? To make things a little bit more interesting, we're not just gonna be shooting this on the vest, you know, just sitting up there on the berm. We're gonna be shooting at this discount, Baby Yoda prop, or whatever it is you'd want to protect including your melons. Yeah, that sounded better in my head. As for the armor itself, we have this level 3A plus rated soft armor that Safe Life sent us. And this will show basically, you know, there, there's a difference between not penetrating and not breaking your ribs. So we're gonna see that and see if we can strap this up tight here. She's not going anywhere. Testing against body armor. To the surprise of absolutely no one, this stopped it. And we didn't even really get an impression on the other side. Uh, I think it was allowed to flex a little bit. If you look over here on this side, it hit the top here where there's a little bit of an air gap. And so it would have had to push the armor in a little bit. So this watermelon's actually fine. You can't even feel an impression on the front of it. So perfectly stopped at 380. So if your assassin is coming after you with a shitty woman's pistol, then uh, you know, you're fine. Let's step things up a little bit. So now we're moving right up to the Gen 5 Glock 19. Now this is of course in 9mm Luger. Much like the 45, this is also in two world wars. Just not usually on the winning side. 9mm Glock 19, weapon of LaCroix destruction in three, two. A little bit more pop to this one. So what people don't know, a lot of people don't know is that 380 is also technically a 9mm, I just think it's uh, 9 by 17 whereas Makarov is 9 by 18 9mm, of course, as everybody knows it, is 9 by 19 so just a little bit hotter. But let's see how it fares against body armor. Clock versus our soft armor. Let's see who wins. So I aimed a little bit lower on this one, you can see. It's a couple inches lower because I wanted to see what it was going to do to our watermelon. Oh yeah, yep. That is a perfect representation of what I was talking about earlier with body armor. Now soft body armor will save your life, but there's also, because it's not as rigid as harder armors, just the basic soft armor is meant for pistol rounds, will still, ah, uh, you'll feel that impact, that all that energy from a handgun. And you know, bullets carry a lot of energy. That's still imparted onto the vest. It just doesn't penetrate. So I'd much rather have all that energy be going onto my abs or my rib cage or something like that than in through my liver, which God knows is already working hard enough. So as you can see, it stopped it and it's kind of funny. You can see the same pattern from the inside of the, the soft armor actually showing up on the skin of the watermelon. But the vest did clearly stop the round. I can feel it on the inside of the vest. Uh, there's no penetration. It just kind of pee pee slapped our, our watermelon. Anyway, time for a new melon. Tactical melon reload. Shove that shit in there. All right, so next up on the list, we have a 40 cal Glock 27. Personally, one of my least favorite handguns up against my least favorite white cloth flavor, natural lime. But before we do that, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Save Your Equipment. Save Your Equipment offers premium quality pistol and rifle bags at affordable prices. Whether you're looking for something super tactical or a party pack that's a little bit more incognito, Save Your Equipment has you covered with their entire lineup of multi-cam rifle bags to their Covert Specialist series. They've also just released their brand new rifle racks for storing or showing off your builds. And if you use the code, the AK guy, when you use the link in the description, you'll get 15% off and free shipping. 40 cal Glock. Highly effective in dispatching White Claw. Partially because this is, uh, I think, a skinnier can. Uh, it was just a, pretty much able to just rip this in half, uh, which is 
One less natural lime white claw in the world. Hashtag one less. It can dispatch a claw, but can it stop an armored melon? Let's find out. Let's just take this on up. I can see it cracked from the pressure again. Oh yeah, see that one had a little bit more energy going into it. Get this nice big impact, but I don't think it penetrated. Even still, we can't use this watermelon again, so yeet. There you go, that was a little more satisfying. So this was our 380, this was our nine millimeter, and this one was our 40 cal. If you actually look in there, you could see where the, the uh, copper jacket is kind of showing a little bit on the underside there. I think it hit and just kind of caught, and now it's a little bit below the hole there. It's okay, little buddy. All the rest of the watermelon did great. Now it's time for the back-to-back -back World War II champion at SIL 45 ACP in a discount Glock 45. Going up against a suspiciously boogaloo-colored LaCroix. Let's get after it. Two World Wars coming up in three, two. Other than us being in the splash zone, uh, we pretty much again ripped this can in half and pretty well deformed it. Uh, it also went a few feet over here. So good bit of energy was deposited in this, but let's see how our up armored watermelon 3.0 fares. By the way, if you like our absolute devotion to science, make sure you subscribe down below. Click the little taco bell down there. Keep you notified. Watermelon, you are about to feel all 230-something grains of my stopping power. So 45 ACP, definitely the fattest caliber that we have out here. Uh, no offense to those 45 owners. That is our impact mark right there. Let's see how the watermelon fared. Definitely a good little impact there. Uh, whoever was wearing this vest definitely would have felt it. Wouldn't you say, buddy? However, looking at the other side of the armor here, you can see that the fabric is beginning to stretch a little bit, that little tear there, but there is zero penetration. Nothing has gone through this vest so far. However, you are definitely having a very bad day. It's about to get worse. So none of these pistols have been able to penetrate the armor so far, which we kind of knew that. The vest is rated to stop all of these calibers, but there's one that I did want to try that this vest is not specifically rated for. This is kind of the surprise gun that I've been wanting to test this whole time. This is just your run-of-the-mill Tokarev. I bought this for $100. This is 7.62 by 25 surplus ammo. Now, if you're not familiar with ammo testing and, uh, and ballistic vests and things like that, you're probably asking, well, dude, what the hell? Why would this smaller caliber penetrate when, you know, 45 didn't penetrate? I thought 45 had stopping power. Well, Boomer, it does. What you may not know about armor penetration is that it is not the size of the bullet. It's the motion in the ocean, so to speak. Bigger calibers are actually not better at penetrating armor. They are going to vibe check your internal organs, but they're probably gonna get stopped. What actually penetrates armor is smaller projectiles moving a lot faster. E equals MC square and all that, you know, there's actually, there's the velocity part of that is squared. So velocity actually matters a lot more in penetrating armor than weight does, mass. So while our nine millimeter was traveling at roughly about 1200 feet per second, this is gonna be traveling in a smaller surface area, meaning the bullet surface that actually hits is going to be smaller. Uh, this is traveling about 50% faster. It's about 1600 feet per second. Without further ado, see what it does to this, ironically enough, watermelon LaCroix. 1950s shit tier pistol versus LaCroix. That good on you too? So this one was uh, straight in and out. I'll let you make the joke on that one. But enough fooling around with sparkling water. Time to test out what it does against the watermelon vest. Time to do your last watermelon crawl, little buddy. All right, we're just about ready to go, guys. This is the first time today we're doing something I have no idea 
what is gonna happen. Uh, it's not rated for this, but we're gonna give it a shot anyway. Potential vibe check in three, two. So I think it's this one up here. Let's do the dramatic reveal. Ooh, I don't know. That one might have got caught. Let's find out. Either way, that watermelon ain't looking so hot. So you guys see, this is pretty ripped up. I don't know if it stopped it. So I can actually save this bold face. I don't know if that penetrated or not. Uh, so we're, we're gonna try it again and aim for a different spot where it's not already ripped up a little bit already. So we're gonna see if it goes through. I kind of moved the watermelon a little bit, rotated it so we're not going right on the impact side. Because now I just wanna see if this thing will go through. Seedless watermelon. Yeah, we'll see about that. All right, this watermelon's coming apart. Got another impact there. I don't think it penetrated. It definitely wanted to. You can feel it there. This whole thing is bulged where we hit it. It's bulged right there. It wanted to get through, but I don't think, uh, I think the vest stopped it. Huh, I was kind of hoping to see something that was going to defeat this vest before we left here today. I got an idea. Hold on one second. Say Yabla 7N6. <laughs> I didn't know this thing was set to puree. FYI, it's not rated for this. Look at how I massacred my boy. Oh, that's just wrong. It's so wrong. Uh, yeah. That was just ripping straight through and out the other side. Pretty sure I just saw that thing move, so we're gonna finish finishing it off. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked the video. Be sure to subscribe if you like the merch. You can check it out down in the links below at Bunker Branding. And I will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Bye. I should do it. Fury is my obsession to make the perfect weapon like us put in the to the top. But the killer should get stuck, get stuck, get stuck, get stuck, get stuck, get stuck. This right here is a lemoncello limon. What the fuck? Let me do that again.